Hey everybody, it's Tormer the Grey, welcome you to another episode of the Hexathalock. Well, I was doing some grinding off camera and we, uh, tragedy finally struck. Um, we encountered our first death. Um, I was preparing for the flying gym and, uh, Gwen went down. Uh, I was grinding both her and Wheatley up. Wheatley's level 30 now. Um, Jenny's level 32. Pickup's working. Um, yep, yeah, Gwen took a crit. We were surfing around down on Route 111, or not 111, 119, and um, accidentally wandered into some grass, and I wasn't paying close of enough attention, and she got hit by a crit headbutt by another Lanoon. Um, yeah, so that's sad. Um, but, you know, I guess the first death was bound to happen eventually, so... Um, yeah, I was kind of looking forward to getting her up to be a manetric, but oh well. So that's five total for the Hexathlox so far, um, and hopefully we will keep it from getting all that hi all that much higher. Um, today we are going to let's see. I guess we'll leave Wheatley out for now. Um, we are going to do the gym, uh, the Fortree City gym, and uh, surrounding areas. We are going to start by cleaning out this town, seeing if there's anything of use in any of these little tree houses. I don't think there is. Okay, that's it. We're not, there's nothing interesting in this town. Um, I like the design of it, but nothing really going on. So we need to come out here to Route 20, uh, not 20, 120, um, and we're going to we'll battle some trainers. We'll get a catch, uh, and then we will uh, get the Devon scope. Is that what it is? I don't know. The thing that lets us see Kecleons, we'll get that, and then we'll be able to do the gym. So we got to do a little bit of stuff out here, uh, but then we should be able to jump right on in with the uh, the gym battle, which would be good. Um, didn't grind up. I didn't really do a whole lot of grinding after last episode. Um, see, they've got a Magnemite and a Loudred. Oh, no, that works. Jenny and Thor can take care of it. Magneton and a Loudred. All right, so. Thor, you're going to double kick that. And Ginny's going to do a headbutt here. Didn't get the flinch. That's alright. She was doing pretty good with the flinches when I was doing a little bit of grinding with her. She was flinching for days, so that was nice. Alright, well. We'll just end this quickly then. Boom! Alright. They do kind of like this recurring character thing. These guys are like more of a rival than your actual rival are. I think you'd do more battles with them than anybody. Um, my Pokemon is strong. Congratulations. Oh, and I should have switched Thor out. Well, whatever. I think... Um, oh, God, I can't even remember her name now. Winona? Is that the name of this lady? Uh, I think so. I think it is. Um, I think that hers uh, highest level is 32 or something, so trying to um, not be too overleveled. Uh, Alright, yeah, Devon Scope. So we get to battle the Kecleon. Um, no, that didn't work. Psychic doesn't do a whole lot to us, so it works. Alright. Spark. Keep it on as paralyzed. Well, that works. I was deciding between using Spark and Thunder Wave, so two birds with one stone there. Nice. Oh, crap. Darn it. Uh, that's going to be counted as our encounter for this route, isn't it? Gosh darn it. Not that there's anything cool here, but... Yeah. Bad or not -ish, I guess. Alright, well... I was kind of hoping to try and get a... Uh, an Absol or something as, as 
unlikely as that would have been. Um, but whatever, that's fine. Uh, I don't really want a Kecleon or an Oddish, so... Um, not a huge loss. My brother was giving me crap for um, killing a bunch of catches last, last episode. Um, which, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I need to I need to pay more attention to that. I, for Nuzlocke, I you know, I sure don't uh, pay enough attention to um, to the the whole encounter thing. I've killed so many of my catches, and my team's pretty well established, and we've got a bunch of good Pokemon in the box, even too. So, yikes, Kickleon, relax. Um, so I'm not super worried about it, but um, switch to Garrus. Uh, but still, I mean, just on principle, I need to pay more attention to what's happening. Alright, so it's an electric type right now. Santum. Okay, we'll do a crunch. I was going to say, you better check yourself there, Kecleon. Alright, and I don't want to bring another person out, so we'll just heal... Ooh, it got stab on that one. There we go. Sandtoon took care of it. That works. All right. Get our item. Nest ball. Ooh, one cool thing that did happen while we were doing some grinding. I found a leaf stone uh, down on Route 119 off the river a little bit. So that was cool. Um, we can evolve uh, Friday at some point when we get uh, get him leveled up enough. I won't do that. I think, like, level 40-something, he learns uh, his last uh, level-based move. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get him up to that level before we do a Leaf Stone and, and take away his chances. But uh, Let's uh, get rid of this guy. Star Pokemon Fled. Oh, you don't even get a chance to get that one. Okay. Oh, this one. Okay, how's it going, Champion Bound Tortimer? Why did I, why did I talk to this guy? Yeah, I get it. I get it. Thank you. All right. Well, let's see how Wheatley's going to do. Level 30 is even on the trainer, so... Yeah, well, uh... This will be a good challenge. We've got Thor, so, I mean, really, it's not going to be a challenge. But I'll use Wheatley um, to kind of give him... To make it a little bit more difficult. Um, just because... Um, a little bit lower level. Although, not really. Any steel type, and these are mostly going to be normal. So, whatever. I can, I can dream, can I? Oh no, that's what I need to do. Puzzles. All right. But yeah, a little sad that Gwen died. Uh, I was excited to get to train her again. Um, as I mentioned before, Minet Trick is one of my favorite uh, Pokemon in general. Uh, definitely for this generation, one of my favorites. And then, yeah, just in general, I like the, the Manetric line. I like dogs and stuff. And it's kind of an electric wolf sort of deal. So I thought that was cool. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be fine, you know, strategy-wise. Leo's also got Ice Beam, so um, really we can, we can do this. Just because I'm OCD, we'll do that, we'll do this. One of the one of the most shocking things to me is that and I've had this happen in other Nuzlocke runs, obviously not this one, but I've had Magnemite or Magnetons or whatever die to water attacks. And that that surprised me, because I could have sworn I would have sworn that steel resisted water, but apparently it does not, which is shocking to me. Uh, I I just figured this out recently. I feel like it was a. I was talking to somebody. I don't know. I, I think it was on uh, Kit Fox. Um, I don't remember if there's any numbers on his thing, but uh, he's got a great run or a great series of runs uh, that he's done on the forums. And uh, he had one instance in one of his runs where that came up. And I was just like, I had made some comment to him and then someone corrected me. I was like, what? And I went and looked it up and yeah, I don't know. 
Are, is there anything else like that for you guys in uh, Leader Winona? Um, in the Pokemon games where, like, you've thought something's been true for, like, ever, and you only then find out that um, your assumption is completely wrong? Crit. Nice, Wheatley. Send an Altaria. Um, that's a dragon. So I... Yeah, let's give Thor a chance. Ah, well, no, I should have switched in Leo. Although Thunderbolt should be able to handle it. No. Alright. Um, then let's just let Leo do it. Quick and clean with an Ice Beam. Ooh. All these Dragon Dances would be worrisome if you weren't going to die this turn. Alright, good job, Leo. Glad we got that Ice Beam. Switch back... Thor can do this one. We let Wheatley have all the trainers, so we'll let Thor get some action in here. Skarmory. Um. Yeah, sure. Le we Wheatley can do that one. I think Steel resists Steel. But then again, I've just pointed out how little I really know about anything. Uh. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, so I guess kind of question of the day. Is there anything like that in Pokemon, whether it's, you know, the type chart, you know, little quirks about that, or um, critical? Good job, Wheatley. Atta boy. Um, where just, you know, you found out something and it, like, completely blew you away. I mean, I've been playing Pokemon for, like, 16 years? Something in that range? I mean, so I've been playing longer than maybe some of you have even been alive. And, uh, I still, you know, I mean, I know the type chart has changed. Well, it changed back in Gen 2, but, um, still, like, if I, I would have thought that I would have known pretty much everything there is to know about at least that kind of stuff. I mean, I may not know all the new Pokemon and stuff, but I, I would have sworn that I knew the type chart at least. Um, uh, but, yeah, I guess not. Uh, so let's quickly... Uh, Wheatley, you're coming back in here. We'll get our fighting types back. Uh, and I'm actually going to leave Garrus. Because I think we're going into kind of a water-filled area, so he's not going to be much help. And since we've got to have Ginny on the team, um, yeah. Uh, we did get some new TM, HM deal. Let's put Fly on Serenity. You can't take the sky from me. Um, yes. Uh, and we will 70. Uh, okay. Uh, that's 72. Okay, so... Do, 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 do. Yeah, I guess we'll just get rid of wing attack. That'll be fine. I don't mind taking an extra turn. Uh, and I think we got aerial ace too, but I think I'm, I'm probably gonna put that on somebody else. A lot of people can learn aerial ace. Let's see. Zuko, Zuko can learn it. That's fun. Um, is there any benefit to teaching Zuko aerial ace? Flying is good against fighting. But I think it's got. Nah. We'll save it. I'm sure somebody else can learn it. Uh, but yeah, seeing as the rest of this town is boring, uh, we'll move on. Uh, let's see, Ginny's the lowest level, so we'll let her lead. Let's see if we can't encounter an Absol or something here to make...
Whew. There we go. I wanted to double check his ability, and yeah, I figured Surf would probably be the best bet there when we were both a little low on health. You are the worst, lady. Um, all right. Uh, use up some of these soda pops, I guess. We gotta go back to Slateport and get some more of these if we can, because uh, they are by far one of the most cost-effective. Uh, right, we can top the rest of these off with potions. Uh, cost-effective healing items in the game. Um, all right, that should be good. Um, where are we at? What kind of PP do you still have, Jenny? Oh, and Jenny got Poker Rust. We had had that before. Does that go away? Huh. Somebody in the box must still have it. Yeah, I could have sworn we had that uh, virus. And I don't remember what that does exactly. Um, it's got something to do with... I don't know. Something to do with EV training, I think. Maybe. Honestly, not sure. But it does something, and it's good. Um, and I don't remember... I, I keep meaning to go back in the videos and figure out where exactly that happened. Um, I think we're still on Route 120. Um, but I'm pretty sure we gave up our catch for that route. Don't really want to worry with a Keklon. C dot. Okay, now C dot. Don't use Bide. Although I guess it won't matter. We'll kill it in this next turn. Let's use Fury Swipes. Crit. Had a girl, Jenny. Uh, Lombre. Yeah, we can take a Lombre. I'm really liking, you know, the shiny claws is cool. Um, at, at least the way I have it. I'm glad that I had to put her on the team. I don't know that I would have necessarily otherwise. Um, I did in my last run um, that I was doing for a comic form. I did get a shiny there, and I did work it into my team. Um, I didn't have to at that point, um, but I decided that's something I wanted to do, even though it wasn't that great of a Pokemon. So, um, Nose Leaf. All right, that took too long, though. Let's let Serenity do it. All right. We've got too many good Pokemon this gen this season. I'm looking at this Nuzleaf. I mean, I'm thinking, man, I'd love to get Nuz or uh, Friday back on the team. And we've got uh, Garrus sitting in the box right now. We've got you know, way too many good Pokemon. Uh, and just wild Kecleons we got to deal with now too. Yes, we got a flinch. Nice. Alrighty. Alright, I'm going to speed through the rest of this route, and I will catch up with you guys uh, on the other side. Alright, we've made it to Route 121. Um, and this route has been forfeited um, as part of the Nuzlocke rules for transferring in Thor and Leo. Um, we cannot catch anything on this route, so I can feel free to kill all of our first encounters. Um, because we don't get to catch anything anyway. So, ooh, um, huh. Let's not and see we didn't, shall we? Leo, get in there. There we go. That works a little bit better. Let Leo take on these. Oh, eating these ghost Pokemans for breakfast. Still trying to find some more cherry berries. Um, love to be able to love to be able to make some more Pokeblocks and continue with this contest thing with Serenity. Um, but, I don't know, maybe it's not in the cards. Uh, so let's head on through. Ah! I kind of just want to get to the next city, lady. Here we go. Oh, Toadette.
Man, at least you're faster. Uh, yeah, we're gonna change Pokemon. Uh, we don't really have anything super effective. I guess Serenity. Serenity's kind of my go-to fighter, I guess, when I don't have anything that's super effective. I don't know why. It just seems like every time I've said that lately, she's been the one I've thrown out. As long as she's not weak, I guess, obviously. Ooh. I smell some plot cooking. Can you smell what the plot is cooking? All right. It's not a huge loss, this route, uh, because I think we can still get some of these ghost Pokemon in Mount Pryor. Or Pyre. I, I don't know. I think, I think we can still get him if we want. Um, but I guess we'll see. Come on. I gotta get over to the city, because I'm out of time for a recording. Ugh. Stupid speed-up hack. Beautiful. Punch that Pikachu in the next week. That should be it. I'll get those berries later. Okay, we made it to Lilikose. <laughs> we will heal real quick and then I'm gonna call it a day. Um, we'll pick up next time with, I'm guessing, Safari Zone and some plot. So that'll be exciting. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, maybe a May battle next time too. I can't remember if we fight her or not. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all next time. As always, I've been Tordon McGray and you've been great. Have a good one. Bye bye. <laughs>